everyone, my name is Sada and today we are going to um, learn how to play chess and also we are going to learn how to move each coin and I'm going to tell you the, the all of the names in chess. So this is called a pawn which are the smallest one and this is, this is called a rooks and this is called knights, this is called bishops and this is called a queen. And this is a king. So um, you'll have so in chess you'll have two two rooks and two knights and two bishops and one king and one queen. So you'll have eight pawns because that's um, supposed to be in the front. And also I'm gonna teach you how to um, move each of the queen each of the coins are in the back. So this pawn, when it first, the first step, it can take two or one step. So if it's over here, it can take over here or over here if you want. And also, this this rook can go straight. And if it, if it goes over here, it can go like this, it can go like this. It can only go straight. It cannot go diagonal or um, in the L shape. And also, um, this is the knight. The knight can all, always go in the L shape. The L shape, it, it can only go in the L kind of shape. If it, if it was here, it can go like this. It can also come back. So if a coin is over here and the knight is over here, and whenever you take the knight, that, that doesn't mean you can take it. Because if you only, you had to always come in the L shape. If the if the coin is always over here, you can take it out. And this bishop is it can go day out. It can one of them are black. The black the black spot can go only black, and this one can only go white. Also in the white coins. So this black coin so this black coin, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bishop. It can go diagonal, only diagonal. If it you cannot change it to black. This thing the other bishop will only go black. One of them will go in white and one of them will go in black. So this bishop can go like this and if it comes over here, if you can go like this. That's how the bishop goes. The black one can also go in the black diagonal. And this is um, the king. The king can only take one step. It can only take like one step. It can go diagonal, sideways, front and back. So if it was here, it can go like this, 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 and this, and it can go like this and this. It can only take one step. And the queen is the most powerful coin in chess. It can go how much it wants. But it can go straight, it can go diagonal, you can, it can take how many steps you want. This is the most powerful um, coin in chess. And this coin can go diagonal, it can go backwards, it can go, it can go front, sideways, and diagonal. And also, um, this coin cannot go in the L shape. It can go diagonal like the bishop. It can go straight like um, um, the rook. And it cannot go L shape like the knights because that's different and this is also different. So this coin can only go straight. It can, it can go however, I mean, it can take how many steps. And if it was here, it can go all the way there. And it, can, it cannot go in the L shape. And also in chess, if you um, and this is all if you you can if you are black, the the black um, the black queen has to only stay in the black square, and the white queen always has to stay in the black in the white square. So it will be opposite to both of them. So if the if the black king is on the white the white king will be on the black and the white um, queen will always be in the on the white spot and the and, and the black queen um queen it will always in the black spot so so right now we are gonna we all learned how to learn um all of this how to move every single coin now so you'll have again you'll have two rooks two knights two bishops one king and one queen 
You have eight pawns. This is how you play chess. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.